everybody. I'm here today to share my first DT project for the Piece by Piece Etsy store. Um, for those of you who don't know, Beverly has the most amazing laces. They're all so beautiful. Um, she has some new releases in her store right now, so if you guys want to go check it out, um, some stuff that hasn't been there previously. She stays up to date on all the trims and stuff. And I got my DT package probably about a week ago, maybe five days ago, something like that, and I have already made three projects, so that's just how inspired I have been. Anytime I get beautiful product in, I'm usually very, very, very inspired, and I've just been going to town. They're all so beautiful. In my package, she also sent me some of her custom chipboard pieces, like the hot air balloon, and I didn't realize how big they were because I didn't read. I don't ever read the details on things. I just saw them. I thought they would be like, you know, this big, but they're huge, so I really wanted to do a 3D project with these. So I used two of these chipboard pieces and a ton of graphic 45 paper, and I just traced the hot air balloon onto the paper um, to create this three-dimensional hot air balloon. I'm going to spin it around for you so you can see it goes all the way around, and it hangs, so it's really cool. And then I just created the basket on the bottom with um, some chipboard and then some of the graphic 45 paper just to make a little box. And the bottom is like my favorite part because I fussy cut the little ladies out of the um, paper. I think it was a ladies diary paper line and I just put those down in there. So I'm going to zoom in and let y'all see that really quickly because it is like my favorite part um, of the hot air balloon. I just fussy cut the ladies out and I have her sitting on the ledge. I think she's actually from Lay Romantique Paper Line and then the rest of those ladies in there are from um, a lady's diary. So they're all just hanging out in the bottom of the basket. She's got her arm out over there. And I use this beautiful, beautiful Webster's Pages trim. I love this trim. It's so gorgeous. It's like tool and it's just all really ruffled and feathery and it's just absolutely gorgeous. And then I fussy cut out of the Lady's Diary. It was like a piece of lace strip in one of the papers, so I cut that out and put it all the way around. I attached the basket to the hot air balloon with chain. I'll zoom out so you can get a better view of that. And I just attached it to the middle of the hot air balloon. And then it was like the basket was kind of um, coming out too wide, the chain was. And I wanted it to kind of go inward toward the base of the hot air balloon. So I just attached another chain here on this, both sides of it to kind of bring these two in closer together. Um, and it just holds up the hot air balloon. I just tied a little seam binding bow here on the base of the hot air balloon. And then I also um, ran some of the beautiful lace all the way around the back side of it. This is really beautiful laces. Um, I used seam binding bows all the way around and I was researching hot air balloons to kind of see how I was going to decorate them and I noticed that most of the hot air balloons had like banners on them and I had got this Maya Road trim in my DT package um, and it just mimics a banner so it was just absolutely perfect to use this trim right here and it's so pretty um, and it's already in the shape of a banner so that's what I wanted to use and I just have it swooping on each side of the um, hot air balloon and then above that I attach this other really beautiful lace from France above that and then in each little corner I put a seam binding bow just for my stash um, but that Maya Road trim was just oh I love it so much it's incredible initially I was just gonna make a big flower with it but as soon as I held it up to the um, hot air balloon it just went perfectly so I put that there and then I also ran a banner um, from here all the way up and it actually let me see if I can get it to come into the frame let me zoom out just a tidbit it goes all the way up to the top of the hot air balloon let me see if that's in frame so it goes all the way up to there I distressed all the papers really really well and then when I attached the banner part I glued it to each edge of the paper just to kind of help everything keep its shape exactly how I wanted it to stay so I did that and then the focal point up here, I just added a lot of little fussy cut elements from the paper collection. And let me zoom out just a little bit for y'all. Okay, I just fussy cut the butterflies out from Lay Romantique paper and I have them going all the way up. And I have some pearls there and I just fussy cut some of the paper out for an extra banner like I said. This is from the Lay Romantique paper and it says the key to my heart and I just made it into a little banner. 
This is a little Melissa Francis resin frame, and I just took the 1912 from the, I think it was from the Lady's Diary paper line, and put it there. I fussy cut the key above that out of the um, Le Romantique paper line as well. And then I took some of the black lace from my design team package and just made it into like a little fan shape, and I tucked it in back there. And then those lace applique wings are just incredible. I definitely wanted to use those. So they are right here. Beautiful, beautiful wings. Um, I sprayed them with hairspray, just cheap. I actually have it right here. Um, just cheap white rain hairspray just to give it some more um, rigidity, make it more stiff so that they stayed upright and held their form. And I just heat set them and kept adding it until they kind of stayed stiff um, so they would be raised up off of the hot air balloon. Um, and then I just have some different flowers. I've got a Prima flower here and a little Iron Roses flower here. I used another piece of lace from um, my package as like a little leaf coming out. And then under that you can just barely see there's a little clock that I fussy cut from the paper collection as well. And I just added pearls to all the butterflies and I wanted to keep it pretty simple. I was going to embellish the back of it, but I didn't want to go overboard. I wanted the um, paper to really, you know, show the distressed edges and everything so I decided to keep it just on the front um, but I'm really happy with how this came out and I mean I'm gonna be honest I haven't had so much fun creating something in a long time like I always love what I do but this was a really fun project I just felt like a little kid or something um, playing with these chipboard pieces so it was just a blast and the laces are gorgeous so like I said I'll put the link to Beverly's um, store down below and you can also go check out my blog I have some pictures over there as well and thanks for watching y'all and talk to you later bye